welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, we will be taking a look at layers and shapes in paint.net. To start off with, first you need to open up paint.net and then you need to make sure you have the layers window open. As you can see, I have the layers window open here. I'm just going to actually move this next to my new document and I'm just going to expand this layer so we can see it a bit easier. If you don't have the layers window open, then if you go to the top right hand corner of paint.net, you will then see this icon here. You need to just click on that icon and that will open up the layers or press F7 on your keyboard. We now need to go to our toolbox, which is on the left hand side on my screen. As you can see, there's lots of different options. If you don't have the toolbox window open, then you can open it up again on the right hand side of paint.net and click on the hammer icon or press F5 on your keyboard. We now need to select a shape. The shapes button is at the bottom of the toolbox window and we can then select what shape we'd like to use up here and as you can see we currently have a rectangle selected. We can go ahead and select a circle or we could go ahead and select a diamond or a triangle and lots of other different shapes. To start off with first we're going to go with a rectangle and we're now going to create a new layer on our layers window by selecting this icon here which will then allow us to move and make adjustments to our shape if we need to later on. We're now going to go back to the top left hand corner where we selected our rectangle and we're now going to go to the next option which is draw or fill. I'm going to select fill the shape but you can also select fill it with an outline or you can just do a outline. Let's go ahead and select fill shape and we now need to select a color by using the color window. If you don't have this open, then in the top right hand corner, you can select it or press F8 on your keyboard. I'm going to go with red and I'm now just going to make a rectangle. Or in fact, if you hold down shift on your keyboard, it will lock the aspect size of the shape and we can then make a square. I'm going to go ahead and make a square and I'm now going to let go of my mouse button and there we go we have a nice lovely red square. I'm now going to create a, another new layer on my layers window and I'm now going to go back to the top left hand corner and I'm now going to select a circle. I'm now going to do the same again I'm going to hold down the left mouse button and I'm going to hold shift so I get that perfect circle. I'm now going to let go of my mouse and let go of shift and I'm now going to change this shape color to blue. We now have a square and a circle. I'm now going to go back up to the top left hand corner and we're now going to select, let's go with a arrow. Oh, okay. As you can see that actually just changed the circle because I still had it selected. I'm just going to change that back again to a circle and we actually need to select our rectangle select tool and just deselect circle. We can now go ahead and create another new layer and we're now going to go back onto our shape tool and we're now going to select an arrow and I'm now going to change this color let's go with let's go with yellow and I'm just going to do a simple arrow like that and hold shift just to get a nice aspect ratio there so it's all nice and even. And I'm now going to go to the top corner here. So I've got the two arrows either side, as you can see, and I'm just going to rotate my arrow. You can also press shift and it will lock the angles into position. And there we go. We've got a nice 90 degree angle there. I'm now going to move that between the square and the circle. And I'm just going to deselect. Right, we now have three shapes and we have three different layers. We can do whatever we want with these layers. We could select layer two, which had the red square, and I can then select my mouse move tool and I can move this square under the circle. 
I can then select layer 4, which was our arrow. I'm just going to deselect and then select again. And I could then move my arrow up if I want. Let's just press enter. There we go. And yeah, there we go. And if I press enter, it will just deselect. You don't have to keep selecting a rectangle select tool. You can just press enter. That's cool. We could always put the arrow below the circle and then it hides it. We could do the circle below all the layers and then it just moves them all around. And that's what the layers are for. It's just basically put in objects or text on top of each other. So you can move them between different levels or layers. And that is basically it for shapes and layers in paint.net. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button and subscribe for more paint.net tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forums.